Hey everyone, Mike on Monday coming to you. Today I have my special guest, I have Steve Zutz, who is the CEO of Country Visions Cooperative. Welcome to Mike on Monday, Steve. Thanks, Mike. Um, today we're going to ask a, a few questions as to what's going on in the company, what's new, etc. So, first of all, uh, for those folks who don't know Steve, could you introduce your background, uh, where are you from, uh, how'd you get to where you are? You bet, Mike. Well, first, thanks for letting me uh, participate in the program. You bet. I realize there's a lot of agronomy people that are viewing this uh, tape as we move forward. And uh, just, just a little bit about my background. So I'm a farm kid, just like you. Grew up in the Valders area. Farm, went to the University of Wisconsin at River Falls. Studied agronomy and agribusiness. From there, I came back and uh, did a couple internships, scouting fields in eastern Wisconsin. So started the same place a lot of your people have uh, yeah. on the farm. From there, I uh, got my first job out of college at the Brilliant Co-op as okay. the first field agronomist. So that was a big thing back then in the early 80s. You probably remember mm -hmm. that. From there, I moved to the Valders Co-op as an agronomist, and from there to the Chilton Co-op as a, the agronomy plant manager. So in 1995, I started my career into management. So I did about 10 years on the specific agronomy side. Okay, okay. So, um, a lot of folks are probably wondering, what about the annual meeting? This is typically the time of year we do the annual meeting for the company. So where are we at on, on that this year? So obviously, like everybody knows, COVID-19 affected us all, your co-op too. So back when we were making decisions, we just, the board and management thought it was just a lot more safe that we just don't have an in-person annual meeting and gather like just about every other meeting that's happening in today's world. So in lieu of that, well, first of all, we still conducted our director election okay. like we normally do via ballot, so that's all complete. And then we decided to do a virtual annual meeting, so that's actually put together today. It's all set for anybody that wants to look, jump on our website at countryvisionscoop.com and you can see all the information that we would normally present at an annual meeting. The only thing we did miss is the chicken dinner and the camaraderie and the exchange of ideas between our fellow cooperators. So sure. That, that, that's the most saddening part, I guess. And we're all facing that on our, oh, yes. our own lives. Yes, that's yep. part, of, part of life. Mm -hmm. uh, and so today we're actually at a new facilities for Country Visions. Uh, we are in the country store part of this facilities. But Steve, tell us a little bit more about what's going on here at this facilities and the plans for the future for it, et cetera, if you would, please. So good question, Mike. So we're actually in Brilliant, Wisconsin, for those that uh, didn't know. And uh, our, our board and management, you know, our whole cooperative and, and farming and agriculture is changing at a, a fast pace. And, and you know from on the south side, we've got a lot of older facilities within our co-op and, and we keep changing as the future needs us to change. So we've had four facilities up in this geography that are really old buildings, buildings that are 50 to 75 years old. And we all know, just like farmers, all that stuff needs to eventually be replaced and changed. So this property came available. It was a former Shopco building. Shopco went out of business. So actually we got a really good deal on the property. We thought, hey, this building and, and property can facilitate four of our existing old wore out facilities that weren't meeting the needs of the future for the customer. So, you know, it saves a lot of money by buying something used. This building was actually eight years old. We didn't need to go and create all the infrastructure of a green site. We just start doing a remodel. So you have the synergies of pulling four different businesses. Well, business locations will be the corporate office, the country store that was in Reedsville, the White Law Warehouse, and our White Law Energy Office will all be on this site. So a lot of synergies there that will make sense for us. One thing we don't like, obviously, is leaving communities. That's, that's always tough for employees as well as, as customers. But we thought we're only moving seven miles. Um, we should have the same feel of being being local. That's important to us. So this country store here in Brilliant is open today, correct? So For business yeah, time-wise, this country store opened up in uh, November. Okay. And as you can see, we are kind of expanding what we're doing a little bit. You know, in, in today's market, everybody knows there's a lot less farms, so we can't have these country stores and rely on farmers to support them because. We don't have enough farmers. So we need to expand into lifestyle feeds. So we're 
expanding our lineup. We, as you can see, we have lots of room. We're getting into a, a pet grooming and pet washing in this brilliant market. We just think that's going to help our business. So that business has started. Uh, next door to us over here, Mike, we're, st we're building our corporate office, okay. and that should be done by the early March. So the plan is to move from Reedsville to here about around March 5th. And then we're building a shop on the west side of the property to accommodate our energy division, which is in Whitelaw, should be done in the end of May, moving here uh, some probably in July. So by July, those four entities will all be in this building. So that'll be exciting for us. That, that's awesome. So mm -hmm. we're, we're doing a lot of movements here in the, in the company for strategizing for the future to, uh, to meet the needs of uh, not only the uh, farmer community, but also the local communities that all of us live in and, and uh, serve as, as a company. So um, any final comments that you have for us, Steve, today? Any? Just a couple. Well, first, thank you for allowing me to be on Mike on thank Mondays. You for coming. <laughs> Hopefully we can do it again. But final thing, I just want to thank all of our farmers for being farmers, working through the pandemic. Thanks to all of our customers. We understand that Without you, we do not have a business. So thank you for all you do for us. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Steve. And everyone have a great day out there. We'll see you soon. See ya.